Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, before I get started. As always, I would love to say, call all you have, by Hashem, you have a shape, by Hashem, we call corrupt dogs. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, and shout out to the old for the let, shout out to the the heavenly father, name is Yahweh, who in the world inwardly calls God. All right, Yahweh means he exists, he is that he is. His eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. And he's also the form of all things because without the heavenly father, Yahweh, nothing else will exist point blank, period. And the heavenly father, son, named who in the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ, and it's very disrespectful. For anyone to call you by your own name, all right? Hey, call me by the right name, all right? I don't like to be called by the wrong name, and I know you don't eat either, all right? So the Heavenly Father's son name is Yahweh Shai, all right? Yahweh Shai means he's the savior, or he's the deliverer, same exact thing. And Yahweh Shai is coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. Now the question is, who are the Hebrew Israelites, sons of God, Prince of Power, Yahshua Allah? They are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and the Israelite foreigners that look just like the other nations, because you are according to the seed of your father. Whenever you read the book of Numbers chapter one, so you can be a so-called black, white, Japanese, it don't matter how you look. All right, that large multitude is gonna be Israelites that's gonna look just like every nation under heaven, because you are according to the seed of your father. Whenever you read the book of Numbers chapter one, our people have been scattered, looking just like every other nation. Right, but their line goes back to us, people that look like me and you. So now, I want to get this first scripture and I see where it will lead me to. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 3. It says, a prudent man, which is basically a wise man, a wise person, a wise individual. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. I'm going to read that again because we got those. Ooh, it look like a wreck. Ooh, damn, Ishmael. I mean, no, that's a Elon. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Damn, dude, dude about bust ass. Look at that shit. Sorry, sorry. E Elon got out the car, trying to damn... Elon, them, them back into somebody's vehicle. Damn. Elon, Elon is the so-called East Indians, you know, the red dot. Elon, I'm back into, um, I ain't paying attention to the driver, but, me, me know they can't drive, man, you know, a, a, a lot of people can't drive, man, stay off the road, man, it's okay to walk, get you a bicycle, you know what I'm saying, get a skateboard, you know, but, uh, man, let's get right back, you know, that was a distraction, I ain't got everything on camera, but, you know, I, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man, y'all missed that one. But yeah, this book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 3. Hey, this going into me, um, what? I'm going to look that word visually up, too, on, on, on my phone. But this Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 3. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and out of himself. Yes, a prudent man will see evil coming and, we, and he will get himself together. He will get himself right. Um... A prime example is this. Years back, I can't speak on every country, but I can speak on the United States of America, right? This country, all right? You had years back, not too long ago, it, it seemed like it just happened when the time going by so fast, people couldn't find toilet tissue. Because you had people, y'all remember the lockdowns and all that, okay? Toilet tissue. People couldn't find no damn toilet tissue. But you had people that seen the signs. They seen it it, 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 it. it was more than one sign. That's why I said signs. People seen the signs coming, and they say, "Oh hell no! I'm gonna get my toilet tissue." Everybody got to use a bathroom. People got toilet on um, toilets in their house, apartment, whatever the case may be. But you had people that only had like one or two toilet tissues left, and okay, but well that's gone. And those same as that people, they went to the store, like Walmart, etc., stuff like that. And when they went to go find to look for toilet tissue, they didn't find none. So you had a scene of even fast food workers. Now, you know, restaurant workers, whatever the case may be, that's your job. You know what I'm saying? Real case may be, 
You had workers that work in these businesses, they were stealing toilet tissue. And I ain't talking about the, the ones this size. I'm talking about the them, 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 them big rolls. Them big rolls, okay? They were stealing that because it ain't been no toilet tissue. Well, if you was paying attention to the signs, you would see what the hell was going on. You would have had tissue at your house or your, or, or your apartment. But see, the elect is going to always pay attention. We're not going to be blind by bread and circus and entertainment. And for the record, it's nothing wrong with entertainment. It's nothing wrong with bread and circus. We all like bread and we all like circus and we all like entertainment. Basically, circus represents entertainment. Circus and entertainment is the same same thing. But we not the elect is not going to be blind by the entertainment. So let me read this again. And I'm gonna get more into the entertainment thing. Proverbs chapter 22 verse. Three, it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide himself so the bible says a perfect precept is to use the world but don't abuse it which means don't be attached to the world so we is able to deal with movies football basketball um hockey baseball sports video games cooking shows cooking itself you know what i'm saying anything we all like entertainment going to bars as a matter of fact this street right here we got how many bars we got El Paso Texas and Tequila um that bar something brewery another bar and it's another bar we got how many bars I think about five bars on just one street alone so it's nothing wrong with you know going to a bar where the case may be but you have to be vigilant vigilant because yeah how was shy himself said this this another perfect precept yeah how was shy himself said that he's gonna come as a as a thief in the night. And the world is gonna be taken by surprise, but the elect will not be taken by surprise. We're not gonna be taken by surprise because we paying attention to prophecy and we actually being vigilant. Matter of fact, let me get this dictionary. I mean this um dictionary. Hold on. Excuse me. Because we just being what vigilance. It's nothing wrong with having fun. It's nothing wrong with drinking. Matter of fact, y'all know the story about how do we, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, how he turned, how he was at this get together, and the Lord turned water into wine because the Lord, Yahweh Shai Himself, our Lord and Savior, he wanted some wine. He wanted a drink. It's nothing wrong with drinking. Some people love to drink at the house, like me. I I don't like drinking in public. And you got some people who love to drink in public. I'm saying but don't let that blind you from what the hell is going on okay so this um visually we gonna get it we gonna get it so we got vigilant right here vigilant okay y'all see that vigilant I'm gonna hit it again vigilant so this the word vigilant so you want to be vigilant all right it says alert and watchful, you want to be always alert and watchful. You don't want to be no uh, dumb dog, no, you want to always be alert. You know what I'm saying? It says alert, watchful, especially to avoid danger. You want to always be alert and watchful so that you can avoid danger. You don't want to be caught up. You want to be like the five wise versions, which that was a dark saying, a parable, a example. Just like we love to give examples the prophets of old and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai always gave examples. And the five wise versions represents the elect. The five the five foolish versions represents the two thirds. Alright? So Yahweh Shai gave an example of watch for me. Pay attention. Don't take your eyes off the prize. You know what I'm saying? Only the elect can do that. And everybody else that's caught off guard can't do that. Matter of fact, in the days of Noah, when Noah was in the ark, Noah represent the um, the five food. I mean, Noah represents the five wise versions because Noah was paying attention and he was getting his uh, his uh, act together. All right, sir, because Noah was getting his act together. And the five foolish versions represent what everybody else. He was banging on, crying, saying, "Noah, please let me in, Noah." They was banging on the art saying, Noah, please let me in. It's raining out here. They listen, people gonna be the same way. The elect is gonna be as Noah in that day. 
everybody else is going to be like, man, come on, man. Hey, man, um, whatever your name is, whatever your government name is. And if they know your Hebrew name, they're going to call you by your Hebrew name. You know what I'm saying? They're going to call you by your Hebrew name if you have a Hebrew name. But if you don't, they're going to call you by your government name. Hey, man, come on, man. Please let me in. Raheem, Raheem, please let me in. You know what I'm saying? Hey, people going to be crying. Isaiah 4, see, Isaiah 4 and 1, man, this thing, seven women shall plead in one man. Seven means completion. It's going to be women that's going to be begging, begging a man of the Lord. Please protect me because she know that a man is a protection from the wind. That's another scripture. Even women is going to see the evil and they're going to try and hide themselves. In order for a woman to hide herself, she has to get protection from the wind. That protection is a man of the Lord. Not just any man, but a man of, of the Lord. Um, but let, let me get this Google again. This is from the um, MarianWebster.com. It says, alert, watchful, especially to avoid. So let me scroll down and see what else we can get. Let's get Cambridge, Cambridge, Cambridge Dictionary of Vigilant. It says, being very careful to notice things. You have to get, it says, being very careful to notice things. You have to notice things. When you out and about, I mean, you is out and about, you have to notice things. Stop. Listen, venues get shot the hell up every day. Venues get shot up. People get killed in venues every single day. The videos all up on YouTube. Well, of course, I mean, that was a slip of the tongue. The videos is all up on the internet, not YouTube. But they on these gore sites and stuff like that. But people get shot the hell up and killed in slaughter and at venues. You having a good time. Everybody having a good time. You know, you feeling good. You drinking. That's why I like, I, I'd rather drink at the house. I ain't trying to drink in public. I mean, I drink, I like to feel good. Like, yeah, you know, this. damn, this feel good. And all of a sudden, gunshots rang out. I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'd rather drink at the house. But anyway, people get shot up in venues all the time, killed. You go to clubs. Someone always getting killed at the club every weekend. Someone else been shot up at the club. Anyway, we have to be vigilance okay um it, 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 it can happen at mcdonald's and you already know that someone going there all mad venting out their frustration whatever the case may be you have to be vigilant going right back to the cambridge dictionary of vigilant it says being very careful to notice things you must notice things this there's a sign over here there's a sign over there right just like we are noticing the sign of world war three we are noticing the sign of the end. Um, Yahweh Shai speak about World War III. He said, when you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. There's wars and rumors of wars happening every single day. That's the sign of World War III because World War I not happening. World War II not happening. Now we're talking about World War III. Now let's get right back in vision, right? Back in the Cambridge Dictionary, it says, signs of danger, security personnel need to be more vivid vigilant in checking bags and packages. That's why they do that. They checking your bags and packages because they're being vigilant. That's why security do that. You may be mad at the security guard like, man, why are you checking me? You can't be mad at him. He's being vigilant. That's why he do it. Let's get one more. Collins Dictionary. So now we're on the Collins Dictionary on Google.com. It says vigilant in Collins Dictionary. It says someone who is vigilant gives careful attention to a particular problem or situation. Yo, that right there is self-explanatory. You have to be vigilant when it comes to particular problems in any situation. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care who's surrounding you. What the problem is, you have to be vigilant. What did Yahweh Shai spoke about? We have to be judges on earth. Not just in the kingdom of heaven, but on earth as well. Right now. Not before the Lord. I mean, not after the Lord come, but before the Lord come. We literally have to judge matters. Small and great. Rich and poor. Free and blind. We have to judge matters. You have to make right 
correct decisions. And the Bible says to follow not a multitude to do evil. So you make sure your judging is on point. You have a shy left a perfect example about two women and a child. And you have a shy set the perfect example. A liar will always, always gossip. A liar will always make the most simplest things huge and big, very dramatic. Right, but a person that's telling the truth, they will always keep calm. A person that's telling the truth, they will always take the load. A person that's telling the truth will always look. Well, a person that's now this pay attention to the third. A person that's always telling the truth will always be looked at as the bad guy. You want to know why? Because they always gonna take the load. Let that sink in. Because a person that's lying is gonna always do what? Play the victim. Keep that in mind. So you must be vigilant in all problems, all situations. All problems, all situations. You have to be vigilant. All right? Man. That was the Collins. Hmm. That said the same thing. Okay, yeah. You know what? Vigilant. Vigilant in Google, so we're going to drop that. Let me close that. So you want to be vigilant. I mean, you have to be prudent. You have to be wise when you're out here in these streets. On these streets, in these streets. The obscurs, whatever you want to call it. No matter your situation, wherever you, no matter your situation, your location, always be vigilant. All right? Um, Going right back to Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3, it says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are destroyed. The simple is going to always pass on and be destroyed. Why? Because the simple is not vigilant. The simple is blind by bread and circus and entertainment. And listen, it's nothing wrong with entertainment. We all like entertainment. We Boxing, UFC, Bellator, wherever you name it, um, wrestling, WWE, AEW, you know what I'm saying, um, WCW, TNA, whatever it is, people love they wrestling, people love they boxing, people love they fighting, they street fights, they whatever sports, but you can't let that blind you from. If you talking stacks all damn day, you blind, right? Blind. You you supposed to be talking precepts, not no damn stacks, okay? He's blind. Um, but if you want to enjoy yourself, do that. But while you enjoying yourself, pay attention to the danger side. I, I just went into the word vigilant now. I just went into the word vigilant. Paying attention to the signs. You have a shite always spoke of signs. When you, when you see these signs, when you see the signs of World War III, signs of famine, what I spoke about earlier, the signs of toilet tissue shortage, you have people that were using paper towels and on um, different kind of napkins that don't that don't go in the toilet people was using that wiping their own um, butt trying to flush it and they don't clog up the toilet that don't go there but that because you wasn't vigilant you wasn't paying attention a fool don't pay attention you have to pay attention to what the hell is going on use your brain for crying out loud you know what I'm saying so if you want to have a good time and go places and there's nothing wrong with movies, video games, music, whatever kind of form of entertainment, art, whatever the case may be. You want to go to the aquarium to look at some damn fishes or whatever the case may be, be vigilant. If there's a warning sign saying, hey, don't step here, there's a crack. The water can explode or um, there's a sign literally saying, don't step two foot across this area and you step two foot across the area and something grab you and pull you in the water or a crocodile whatever case may be i don't know or a lion hey don't get too close to the cage when you at the zoo don't get too close to the cage because a lion can reach in and on paws or grab you in whatever i know seen a video of a person um the, the, the damn, um, what's that thing was? Uh, um, 
Well, anyway, the damn, um, the, the damn, um, not a lioness, but what's the other thing? A leper. Yeah, a damn leper put it claws into a person's arm because they got too close to the cage. They got all, uh, Edomite, you already know, Edomite got too close, gotcha. Claws all up on them. They don't let the person lose. Look at, look at the signs. See, the elect is going to be looking at all signs and, and, and they're going to see the signs. And they're going to pay attention to and walk visually. And you have to look at signs. Look at the signs. Stop walking like a fool, man. Let me read that part again. I hope I, hope I ain't close it. Because I do have a habit of doing that sometimes. When I'm thinking I'm finished. But I still got a Proverbs chapter 22 verse 3. The latter end it says. But the simple pass on and are punished. So you got all these warning signs. That the Heavenly Father Son. You have a shot to warn us about. They think it's going to pay attention to all the signs. We're not going to get caught up in them signs. I mean we're not going to get caught up in the danger. Because we paid attention to the signs. That's why I meant to say the first time. So let me say it again. The elect is not going to get caught up in danger. Because we pay attention to all the signs. That's why I wanted to say the first time. Um, that's that. Let me get this scripture. Okay, this, this this is a perfect scripture right here. Let me get this one. I'm, matter of fact, let me hold that tab up. I might end up going right back into that. And just end up reading the next scripture. We might end up going right back into that. I don't know. Um, let me see. Where is that? Right here. I'm going to start right in Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7, verse 7. It says, Surely oppression make a wise man mad. See, any man that's vigilant. That's paying attention. He's not blind by the bread and circus in the entertainment. Which the circus is the entertainment. He's not blind by that. He's mad. He's upset. The Bible did say to be to be angry, but saying not. Don't let your sins bring you down. Alright? Pay attention to what's going on. But saying not. Be be mad. Saying not. The elect is upset that he's being oppressed. Not just oppressed as an individual, but as a whole entire nation. We just oppressed as a people, and he's mad. But any person that's blind by the bread and circus, which is the entertainment, they're not, they're not mad. You got a lot of people that get food stamps that's blind by the bread. What did Esau say 2,000 years ago? He said, and this been recorded 2,000 years ago. That's why I went back that far. But she said it before then. He said, give the people bread and circus and that basically blind them. Bread and circus always exists before Rome. You know what I'm saying? It always exists. But the thing is this right here. Esau give you a bread. I mean that. But Esau give you your food stamps, your, um, your, um, your sports. He constantly give you sports. He keep you busy with sports. He keep you busy with video games. He keep you busy. Uh, uh, I said busy. He he on keep you busy with this new item at this fast food restaurant. Can you believe they brought this item back? Boy, you sound like a person that played Madden football. Nigga, that future been in the game ten years ago that they brought back. Same thing with fast food. Okay, they done brought back an item from 10 years ago. You really, nigga? They brought back an item from 10 years ago that was here that we love so much. Y'all, y'all sound like Madden and them NBA 2K users right now. Well, gamers, what I meant to say. Well, players, what I meant to say. Man, they don't make movies like this no more. And then when they make it like that, oh man. Now, now your ass done went right back to sleep into the world. You done took the blue pill. You know why I might take a red pill? When they see that the people is about to drop the blue pill and take the red pill, what happened? They push you right back to sleep. We got a new item in the menu. 
Now your ass sleep again. Oh man, I ain't know about this one. I can't believe it's not a puffer. What time it is, man? Let me stop messing with y'all, man. Um, uh, we got three minutes left. Um, but yeah, the priest is asking you, chapter seven, verse seven. Surely your oppression making the wise man mad, and a gift destroyed the heart. A gift destroyed the heart. The heart is your mind, man. A person that sells his soul. Okay. One thing I always say is this. You never trust a man that sold his soul. Why? Because any man that sell his soul will sell you out. You only a fool would trust a man that sold his soul. A gift, the scriptures speak about a gift destroyed the heart. The heart is your mind. The enemy is known to him. Take this. Hey, the price is right. Come on down, the price is right. For the right price, you can sell your, for the right price, you can get an individual to sell their soul. But that's gonna destroy you. That's gonna destroy you. For the, for the right price, that's gonna destroy you. You ain't vigilant, man, you ain't paying attention. The elect is not going to sell their soul. And you may give the elect a gift. We're going to accept that gift. Especially if it's money. Because you know, we got bills to pay. You know, the Bible goes into um, money is a defense. Yes, we need money. But that money, that gift is not going to put the elect to sleep. If the elect is having fun doing what they do, our mind is always on the prize. Even when we drink and we chilling, our eyes still on the prize. The prize is kingdom of heaven. And danger. We we, we looking at danger. We, I, I, I hate the zoo, but let me use this as an example. Let's say that I'm at the zoo, which I'm never going to a damn zoo. That's a prison for animals. But let's say I'm at a zoo. I'm vigilant the whole time. I ain't, man, I ain't going over there. People love to get close and all that. Man, I'm a shit. That shit might bite your hand off. I'm gonna use that as an example. But uh, what time it is? Yep. Hey, man. Um. But you know, hey, man, today is all, you know, today is basically all about being, vi you know, being vigilant. Pay attention to your surroundings, man. You can have fun, do what you want to do. Have fun, don't do nothing wicked, okay? All that committing adultery and smoking weed and all, you can't do that. Eating swine, all that stuff is, is, is bad for your body. You gonna fuck around and then catch herpes or on, or on sexual transmitted disease or something. That's why, the, that's why the Lord say don't do it. Now, a, a man can have as many women as he want. But if you deal with a woman that don't dealt with a bunch of men, you gonna catch something. And you can you can hide it all you want. You, you can hide it knowing damn well you sick. Your, your, your body was healthy perfectly until you dealt with her and all of a sudden you done kiss her. Why ain't fuck I just kiss her? Now you now you got bad breath or something. Or uh, your uh, shit hurt no well the case may be. A woman can only deal with one man. A man can deal with as many women as he want. But you just dealt with a woman that dealt with multiple men. Now your ass sick. That's a lesson for another day. But hopefully, it's Wednesday, February the 21. Wednesday, February the 21st. Lunch break camp lesson. It was edifying. All right, hopefully it was edifying. I have a little end off by saying, call all you have a by Hashem Yom Shai, by Hashem Rukal Kroodash. The one and two days in the past. The great millstone. Shout out to the one and two. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Shout out to one.